Hello mates, it's good to see you all here today. Thanks very much for joining me. In this episode, we are going to be revisiting how to create ghost lights with a bit of a difference from the last one. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon. That really helps me out. And of course, an even bigger thank you to my awesome members and patrons. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. So let's jump into this then. So the first thing we need to do is get a scene that we can actually use a ghost light in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a shape. So I'm going to click on this icon at the top here. It looks like three shapes mushed together. And I'm going to create a cube one meter by one meter is fine. We're just going to hit accept. Now making sure we've got our move tool selected. I'm just going to select that and I'm just going to move it back to round about here. Now I'm going to jump into NVIDIA iRate render mode. And as you can see, the scene is currently lit by the environment. So I'm going to go into my render settings and under the environment tab, I'm going to change the environment mode to scene only. And there you can see now we've got a completely unlit shape. So we're ready to test out our product. So what I'm going to do is click on this three shapes mushed together icon again. And this time I'm going to create a sphere how, however big you want to make it is fine. Just, you know, just set it up how you want to. And then we're going to select our sphere. Check that we've got it selected in our scene tab. And then under the surfaces tab, we are going to come down here. Now, as you can see at the moment, our sphere is completely unlit. So we're going to change that by going to emission. And then the emission color or black bar that we're going to click on. And we're just going to drag that all the way to the top so that it's white. Notice now that a whole bunch of other properties appear and that our sphere has actually changed color slightly. It's now a light gray. So that just means that it's creating light, but not enough. So we're going to change our luminance units to KCDM2 like that. And now you can see that it's creating a lot more light and it's white, which means it's blown out. And it also has a reflection in our cube, but that's neither here nor there really. It is what it is. So the problem with this obviously is that it's not ghost light at the moment, it's visible. So what we want to do is expand our geometry tab inside the surfaces properties. And where it says cut out, we're actually going to change this property by clicking on the number. I'm going to type 0 0.0000001. And now you will see that the shape is no longer visible. Our reflection has disappeared, but the light remains. This is all very well and good. But do you really want to have to faff around and do that every single time you create a scene? No. Well, what we can do is we can go to File and we can go to Save As and we can go to Save As Materials Preset and just give it a name. I'm going to call mine like AA underscore Ghost Light or something like that. Save that into your content library. And now we've got that saved in our content library. I'm just going to stick this fella over here and I'm going to create another sphere. I'm just going to hit Accept. Notice that that one is now completely unlit. So what I'm going to do is in my content library, I'm going to find the property that I just created. And I'm going to double click on it. And lo and behold, it adopts the same properties. Now, if you're creating larger objects that you want to act as ghost lights, you are probably going to have to come into your surfaces tab and change the value of the luminance so that it doesn't get too wacky. Like if I was to increase the size of this sphere let's say let's make it 500 percent bigger as you can see it creates a considerably larger amount of light so what we have to do is in our services tab we've made it five times bigger that doesn't necessarily mean there's five times more light but if i were to just drop this right down to say 100 you can see that creates a much more soft light and that's essentially it guys now you've got that preset saved on your computer so you can just apply it to any objects you want to be ghost lights enjoy that Thanks very much for watching and I will see you later. Until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, alright? Bye-bye.